originally from Minnesota. I just turned 50 years old. I own and operate my own personal chef company, culinary services company with my girlfriend Melissa, which we've done for the last 10 years. And I love to sail. I have a sailboat and whenever possible I get out on the boat and that's my oasis away from the stress and anxiety of life. First started noticing uh, something was going on with my heart about, let's see, I guess it would be three and a half years ago now. And I thought, you know, if you ever um, like have too much coffee in the morning and then your heart starts beating like crazy and you go, oh, you just have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and you normalize. Well, that's how it felt, but the peanut butter and jelly sandwich and the bottle of Gatorade or the bottle of Pedialyte was not fixing the heart rate. Um, eventually it would go away and back to normalize, but I, I knew something wasn't right. And then it started happening with more and more frequency. I was having AFib episodes four, five, six times a week, and they were long, 12 to 18 hours in duration, really disruptive. Um, I couldn't cycle. It impacted so many different parts of my life, I, I can't even begin to tell you. It was really... Uh scary um, because we didn't know it was happening and it was clear that it was really affecting him a great deal. It was affecting every aspect of his life. It was affecting his ability to enjoy life. Uh, so, you know, I, I felt really bad and I felt really helpless. We got a mailer um, from a local hospital and there was an electrophysiologist in that mailer that was giving a free talk on AFib. And Melissa said, why, why don't we go see what this guy has to say? After the speech, I went up and introduced myself. And he said, you know, why are you here? Do you have someone you know suffering from AFib? And I said, I actually am. And he said, what? Gave him the, you know, 30 second spiel about what was going on in my life. And he said, come and see me. He goes, I want to give you your life back. So I finally got in to see him and he looked at all the information, did some more tests. And he said, yep, you know, you have AFib and I think that you are a perfect candidate for the cryo balloon procedure. Let's set it up. And I said, can I think about it? He goes, what do you need to think about? He said, I'm not being a jerk about it. He said, but really, what do you need to think about? You will have your life back. You're too young to, to wait another, another second. And I said, I just, want, I just need to think about it, you know. Well, I called him two days later and I said, let's do this. Since I had the procedure, um, I've been in normal rhythm ever since. I have not had one single solitary AFib or AFib-like episode since. So, you know, my life is back. I could see that he was improving and then, honestly, for him, it was very quick. It was, you know, within a week or so that he was really seeming to be back to his normal self. So, that was good to see. The, the EP delivered on what he said. He said he wanted to give me my life back and my life is back. Um, I, I can cycle now without reservation, so it's, um, it's pretty much back to normal. Not pretty much, it is back to normal. <laughs>